this work. is going to work. Idiot. They shot this guy. You shot him earlier. You've had the mask on. You know what it does. <laughs> so he's going to stab him. So he jumps into the water. Uh, fucking uh, mask, mask paints, paints a, flush. a flush. And then just flushes him down. And they're and both I guess comically the, watching it get circled down the drain. Even Milo. So it's like... Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. And then he flushes him down to mm-hmm. death. And then the knife lights up and... Lens- I don't know. I don't know what happens. It's ambiguous completely. You were good, kid. You were real, real good. good. But I was better. <laughs> And then he always takes being the mask off. second best. Mm-hmm. And then he looks at the Tina, off. takes the mask off, <clears throat> gonna kiss her. Think this is where all the bad guys yeah. are. Gonna, oh, I'm gonna get you. And then all the cops come in. And he's just like, ah. Oh. And then we cut to outside. Well, he sneaks outside. Like, yeah. let's go. Kellaway's. Mm-hmm. Oh, where are you going, Ipkiss? And this is where the mayor just goes. You know, <laughs> watch it, Tubby. <gasps> ah, Mr. Mayor. Your mayorship. <laughs> he's that. He's the mask. Dorian Tyrell was the mask. That uh, young man just saved our lives. I just saw it myself. I'm like, yeah, but then you also saw him put on the mask. Or were you out of the building by then when Ipkiss put on? Fine. He might have been out of the building. The, I would assume Charlie being the way they he can, is probably got the mayor out they first. They can also get Dorian's crew on the money. Because mm-hmm. at this point, they've got the money because they took it mm-hmm. from Stanley's apartment. Mm-hmm. So they have the money. The mayor saw Dorian Tyrell as the mask. Yeah. All evidence now points to Dorian and his crew. Mm-hmm. Stanley's free to go. I mean, if Stanley if Stanley is framed, quote unquote, framed as the mask because he showed up with the mask and everything like that, and the the mayor doesn't want to prosecute as the mask, then you got to assume that's his move, right? Like where he could just sort of go. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Um, you know, like they completely framed him. So like yeah. the money in his apartment, everything, all the the pajamas, but now and that, like that but now that it, that's not there, yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what the way that they go with that. Um, and then we cut to the next day, um, or the morning, I guess. I guess the morning. They're driving in a car that I don't know whose fucking car that is. Charlie's, I I'm assume it's Charlie's. And okay. then they're just like, they go to a bridge, and, you know, he's just, they're like, do you, you sure you want to do this? And um, he asks the only legitimate question, because my guess is this relationship with Tina lasts maybe a week. Yeah. Um, because she's used to dating mobsters. Stanley's a bank guy. And how a cartoon fun? person? Yeah, no No matter how much more confidence he has now, this relationship isn't lasting. But hey, whatever, you do what you gotta do. And then she throws the mask out, and they, they, they kiss, and he says smoking, and you think it's the end, but fucking um, Charlie jumps in the water to go get the mask, and Milo has stolen it, and he's chasing after Milo. And credits. Oh yeah, Milo, Milo, get back here. Milo, Milo. Yeah, this movie's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of... It's not my favorite comic book movie. I guess that's technically the uh, Flash Gordon. Mm. Although that's like a serial. Comic strip. Comic strip. <sighs> but this is up there. Uh, again, it's not my favorite. That's still coming. The, mm. My favorite Jim Carrey role. But it's damn near close. It's second for sure. Mm. Uh, you you have an already cartoon person. Mm-hmm. And you're telling them you're allowed to now be a live action cartoon. In real life, go. Mm -hmm. You get this performance. You get this over the top character in what seems to be an over the top kind of environment, a little bit. Yeah, well, in a world where no one seems to be questioning the the validity of all of the magic and shit, it's just like it's a world where he can just go nuts. Um, I'm giving it 10 Cuban beats out of 10. Um, Again, you allow Jim Carrey to go. You also have, you know, a, a cast of characters that work well around him. You know, mm. Kellaway is the yes. uh, secondary antagonist. You, uh, again, Dorian Tyrell, who's supposed to just be like a nothing kind of hood mm-hmm. main bad guy, is, serves is serviceably well in every in every scene that he's in. Mm-hmm. He handles himself. Um, you get Cameron Diaz, and not bad. Hey, not bad for a model who's never yeah. acted before. Yeah, no. Um, I wish there was more Richard Jenny as Charlie. That's unfortunate. Yeah, because um, he's a fantastic. He really is. Comedic actor. I mean, we just, we just really like Richard Jenny. Um, I'm also going to give it um, 10 somebody stop me um, because this might be, in fact, my favorite Jim Carrey role. Yeah. Um, this is him used to the, absolute the gloves perfection. are off. Yeah. You know, and... This is like he's allowed to do anything he wants and it works so perfectly well. 
Um, I love this movie. I really had a good time rewatching. I hadn't seen it in many years. Well, all four of these and movies that we're watching this month, mm, I haven't seen in a long time. Yes, and I'm here. enjoying myself so far. As am I. Um, and th- but this one, I can. Like, I loved every second of it. And no, it's not a perfect film by any stretch. And again, we just, we poked it apart like we always do. But I can honestly say I had way too much fun rewatching this. Well, it's like beyond infinitely quotable. Yeah, it really um, is. Like, um, most people, when you quote Jim Carrey, you're mm-hmm. quoting this film. Pretty much, yeah. If it's not alrighty, then it's something from this movie. Um, this is this is just so much a lot of fun. And like I said, like with the, the supporting cast and everything like that, like... Um, Nico, who's in two scenes, is fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, like Dorian is a great villain. Um, even Kellaway, who shouldn't be good because he's the standard fucking cop, yeah, is interesting. Same and his with Doyle. partner, <laughs> yeah, Doyle is the same thing. He's just as fun. And then you, you throw in a little Ben Stein, who's always fun to see. I mean, he's a one trick pony, but I like that trick. Um, and it works for the scene. It that he's really in. does. You know, I. I just think the movie is really insanely well done. And then you get the star of the show. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming both are MVPs. Mm-hmm. Milo the dog. Of course. Who's a cool boy. Not? How can you not? Who gets the keys. Um, <laughs> who doesn't care to... about what movie he's in. He wants the frisbee yeah. and he wants the cheese. And I do I do have to do this one thing that I always used to do to one of my exes. I'm like, yeah, you know, you know that dog you absolutely love? Totally fucking dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> I used Aww. to do that to one of my exes all the time because it drove her nuts. Like, yeah, we're watching a movie from the 90s. That fucking dog, totally fucking dead. But I loves him. Mm-hmm. He's a boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. No, so, I, I enjoy him. He's I'm fantastic. pretty sure the first time we said an animal was the MVP of the I film. I mean, you can't not. I mean, in a world where we generally don't give the star. Because, I mean, if we're going to give it to a human, Jim Carrey wins. Um, yeah, that's. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I almost gave it to Jim. But then I, I was watching it going, well, Milo's kind of... There's only going to be one film this year, uh, this week, uh, this month, I mm-hmm. should say. I'm going to give it to him, and it's not going to be this one. I agree, because I think it's going to be the same one I'm going to give it to, because you can't give it to anyone else. Um, But yeah, this movie's great. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. If you haven't seen this one in a while... You need to go back. You need to go back. Um, And again, now, you know, we live in an age where comic book movies are all the rage. Mm-hmm. This is back when they, they weren't, yeah. you know? And this is a. To be fair, I didn't even know this was a comic book when I first saw it. And it's funny because it's infinitely better than the comic book. Oh God! And yes. you know, you're hard pressed to say that now. Not really? Not if you've seen it. Not if you've read the book. No, no, no. What I'm saying is now it's hard oh. pressed to say that the movie's oh, better yeah, no, than the that comic book. That pretty much book. never happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for this to happen, you know, mm-hmm. hey, good on the Chuck Chuck Russell and his crew. No, I agree. Um, we go next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, still cartoonish, but not at, not nearly as much. Obviously, set in more of a real world. Set in more of a real world, kind of yeah. a, a lot like Ace Ventura. Yeah, him, and I guess in this case, his, his partner. Buddy. Yeah. His partner will be the cartoons. Yes, in a somewhat real world, mm-hmm. because we are staying in 1994, going to December 16th, 1994, for the, I guess, ultimate buddy movie. I think so. Dumb and Dumber. Mm-hmm. Um, good to see Jeff Daniels again, I guess. Um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, again, it's, it's it, uh, that movie's going to be a lot in the vein of Ace Ventura, where it's like, it's mostly a real world, but he's ridiculous in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to stick with 1994. We're going to stick with the classics. You have to cover the three, right? You just have to. Because these are the three. They are the three. Uh, like, when you think of Jim Carrey, there's going to be others. There's going to be when we cover next uh, week mm-hmm. after next and others. But when you think of we'll Jim do Carrey. Another, we'll do another Jim Carrey month because there is enough to cover maybe even more than one month. But these are the ones you'd think about. Yeah. You know what so I mean? So we'll get to Dumb and Dumber next week. But for this week, we're going to get out of here. You or Steve. You or Justin. And we're way back and gone. So- Smoking!